they never realized that their preferences in that moment had been shifted by the first thing they, they focused their attention on. What would you say is the main difference between influence and persuasion? Clearly, what influence was about concerned what to put into your message. What do you load into the communication itself okay. in terms of six universal principles of influence that will move people in your direction? Persuasion is about what to put into the moment before you send your message that will make people um, sympathetic to it. Okay before they encounter it. Sure, that makes sense. Yeah. What, what is that key moment before a message is yeah. delivered? It, it is the moment that allows a communicator to create a state of mind in recipients that is aligned with the message they have yet to experience. Okay. Uh, look, let me give you an example from that actually triggered the whole idea for me. One Saturday morning, there was a knock at my door. I answered, there was a man asking me to contribute to a cause. It was a good cause. It was after-school programs for children. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hadn't heard that there were any such programs afoot in my district, and I, he didn't show me any credentials. But I wound up giving him more money than I normally give to people who come to my door. Right. And after he left with my money, I remember closing the door and leaning against it and saying, wait a minute, that man didn't use any of my six principles. And he got me to give him more money than I normally do. What am I missing here? He didn't say, oh, all your neighbors are doing this. Or he didn't say, here's the credentials that say that you know, the school district, or he didn't say this is a limited time. No. And I thought about it, and I recognized he did something before he ever said a word that got me inclined to him. And what, what after school programs for children, he brought his four-year-old daughter with him. Ah, uh, he pre-framed. Who was hiding behind his legs, vulnerable and and I became, my mindset was to help children. I mean, it was, here was this little girl, and she was so cute, and she was vulnerable, and now I was set psychologically and cognitively for children. And that's what he did, and I thought to myself, there's a book here. So it turns out there was. And it turns and a out very there good was. How many of you guys have read The Persuasion? Not enough. You have to read the book. is is absolutely essential for any marketer. Absolutely. How? How? So let's go to online because we're all uh, digitally focused here. What would be an example of persuasion in an online context? Um, so here was a study that was done by Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. Right? They did an A/B test. They sent out uh, uh, emails to half of their former uh, customers that promoted a, a discount program that was only going to be available for a limited time. And when you clicked and opened the message, you saw a digital clock clicking down. You can only get this program. They did two versions of that. One was just as I described. The other one had two ticking clock emojis in the subject line. In other words, they put people in mind of scarcity, of, of a diminishing opportunity. Hmm. And then when they encountered that, 3% more opened the email. And I think that's out of curiosity. The emojis were noticeable, a little different. 3% more. Right? But when they did, 15% more than click through to purchase. Wow. That can only be true if those emojis did more than create curiosity. They created 
a mindset for scarcity that they then encountered. And I've been trying to contact the, the uh, Royal Caribbean uh, cruise people who did the study. They won't tell me anything except <laughs> that ad with the emojis produced several hundred percent greater profit wow. than the other because of all of the excursions and upsales that goes sure. with that. So a 15% increase led to this dramatic increase in profits, yeah. That's great. Can, do you have another example? I love one study that was done by um, some researchers uh, f with an online furniture store. For half of the visitors to the website, they went to a landing page that had fluffy, soft clouds in the background wallpaper. The other half went to a landing page that had um, pennies, small coins, in the background. Those who went to the landing page with clouds bought more comfortable furniture. Those who went to the landing page with background now as pennies bought less expensive furniture. So the, the concept that was, that was elevated in attention drove people to th that concept in the offerings that were there. Um, and when they were asked afterwards, so did the clouds or the pennies make any difference? They laughed. <laughs> they said, of course not. I, I'm a freestanding entity. I decide what to do based on my preferences. They never realized that their preferences in that moment had been shifted by the first thing they, f they focused their attention on. Softness or, or inexpensiveness, right? right? Thank you.